In these very vulnerable, disadvantaged areas, healing lies in the community. You meet a lot of people of whom you think, if you should have been on the other side of the world, you should have been great. There are so many raw diamonds, you only need to polish them. The communities we serve often have the most vulnerable people. 75% live in poverty. With poverty and unemployment often come the poor healthcare, poor education systems. The role we fulfill is to address the inequity. One out of four of the kids living in this environment will not mature properly because of a lack of nutrition. Those kids are exposed to massive threats and that's a lifelong thing. They come to us crying and saying, this is my last hope. I'm not sure whether you'll be able to assist me. The community health care workers go door to door, looking for malnourishment. One of the challenges we faced was standardization of, of data. In the past, they would not know, OK, I've seen this child a month ago, but I can't really remember the history, whether it's the age, the height, the weight, you wonder, is this child six years old, five years old, already then you're on the back foot. Since the inception of Yovo, a lot of our data has been captured manually, but we would want a system that allows us to tell also our story to the world in real time. That was what motivated Yovo to then engage service now. For all NGOs, sustainability, fundraising, those are the key things. And without proper data and reporting, you simply can't do that. Now we have a custom low-code ServiceNow application built in App Engine. Employees from ServiceNow and partners, Fly from and Madeiro, are giving the technical support in developing the app, which makes it quite unique. The health workers can now do the screening and input the data digitally. All the elements that they were doing manually, now the system can do it automatically. Even without network connectivity, they can still input the data. Then once they are connected to the internet, then the data will be then uploaded to the cloud. Our healthcare workers can even spend more quality time with the children and the beneficiaries because a huge burden of the paperwork is taken off their shoulders. We have actually witnessed an increase in the number of people screened. We no longer need to wait maybe for three months to do our analysis. The app is actually giving us all that information conveniently now. The most beautiful thing to see was Debbie. She can't type, she can't manage a computer. And when she then saw, wow, I don't have to take those books anymore, I can do everything. And then you see how you can motivate people by making something beyond what their environment offers them. Seeing the child who came to the nutritional unit in a critical condition, then when I see the child's health improving, that's what I enjoy the most. The fact that you're born in poverty doesn't mean you are poverty. If I can get that smile from that little child and I can say, this is what we enabled, that are the things I thrive on. Mm -hmm.